Hello everyone. In today's video, I would like to share one of my projects on the B2B Commerce Cloud project. In this project, we have created a B2B community site into the Salesforce platform. Before moving ahead, let me share with you the client requirement. The client wanted to set up a B2B Commerce store into Lightning and build a commerce website for selling the products. So the solution we provided was to set up a B2B Commerce store for the client. After that, we created all catalogs, categories and products. We also created the shipping, billing method and a UI design for the store. So before moving ahead with details of the project, let me give you a brief on what B2B Commerce is. When people think of e-commerce, they often think of the ease of online shopping in their daily life. But there is another world of e-commerce with its own unique relationships and buying capabilities. Business to business or B2B, commerce enables companies to create exceptional e-commerce storefronts and experiences for their business customers. Moving forward with implementation, this is our developer ORG and we have to set up B2B commerce, clone this repository into the VS code. This is our JIT repository and this is the URL of the JIT repository. This is our repository code into a VS code. Then we have to create a scratch org and push that code into the scratch org. I have already created a scratch org. So now we are moving forward to our scratch org and enabling the commerce tab. So here is our scratch org. To enable commerce tab, go to setup. Insert commerce in the quick find box. Go to setting and enable the commerce tab. If it is already enabled, then our job is already done. Now moving forward, we need to create a B2B store. For creating a B2B store, we need to go to the app launcher. Insert the store in the quick find box. Click on the store tab as you see that it has already been created. But if you want to create a B2B store, then you can use a create a store tab. Click on the two options. There are two options from the B2B commerce tab. First, you have to create a B2B store. Once that is created, we then need to create a catalog, category and products. Again, go on to the app launcher, insert catalog in the quick find box. Click on the catalog tab. Here it is already created. So if you want to create a catalog using a new tab, then as shown on the top screen, click on the new tab. The one that is a mandatory field to fill all these informations to create a new catalog. Now let's move on to categories. Click on catalog. There are all categories that are assigned to the catalogs. If you want to create assigned categories, then click on create categories tab. Click on create categories tab and fill in all information and click on save. This is how we create a category. The categories must be assigned to the catalog. Now we must create the products and assign them to the related categories. Choose a product or create one if you don't have one. As you can see, I have already created a few products. If you want to create a product, click on the new tab and you will see the product page. Here you have to fill in the product information. Whenever you are creating a product, you must enter the value of the product code and the product SKU. After assigning the product to categories, the newly created product is selected by going to the product workspace. Then go on the related tab, assign them to commerce entitlement policy, a price book and a product image for the media tab. You can also assign categories from this page. After that, we are going to activate the store. All you have to do is to go to the store, select your store, then go to administration and complete the steps and then click on the activate store button. After that, we will integrate tax, price, check, store inventory, shipping calculation and checkout flow. I have already completed the whole procedure in store as you can see. When all these tasks will be completed, we will be able to manage our community website. After that, click setup, then enter all sites into the quick find box. Moving ahead to the builder, open experience builder. Experience builder is an easy to use tool for creating new experiences. You can now add new functionalities to the builder by using components and flows. You can also customize your store by using themes and page structure. After you have made all of your changes, you can then preview them by clicking on the preview button. If you are happy with your changes, you can push them on your site. To assess this builder, 
go to your salesforce org and open an account then enable the account as a buyer i have already enabled the user as a buyer so you can see your contact and then we will be able to log into the store it will take the user to the store users can now purchase any product from the store by selecting any category and then adding a product to the cart then going to the cart and proceeding to checkout if you have multiple addresses select the shipping and billing addresses for the user and click next select a suitable delivery method and click next you will now see the details go through them once and click next then select a suitable purchase method between purchase order and credit card after filling out the information submit the payment and you will see a thank you page where you can also view your order we hope you enjoyed creating a b2b commerce website storefront that's all about this project case study if you're looking for such similar development and implementation get in touch with cloud analogies salesforce experts who can guide you through the salesforce journey we ensure the successful delivery of your every solution with extensive salesforce consulting services so to achieve excellent results in your business contact cloud analogy to discuss your project needs and requirements thanks for watching the video